Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipniewski. Thank you very much for popping by my channel. I was going to do the usual tutorial tonight and just add this bit at the end, but I think that the subject matter I'm about to talk about is too important for all of that, so it deserves its own video. A few days ago, I watched two videos on YouTube that I found really moving. An important collaboration was done with my friend Gail over at Random Life Productions and Carla over at Real Chicks TV. They each of them made a video under the same title. The title of their videos are, Am I Too Ugly for YouTube? They told stories about things that have been said to them in the past, and they also shared things that have been said to them very recently in the comment section of their own YouTube channels. Now, they don't need me to stand up for them. These are strong, brave, empowered, independent women. They don't need me to stand up for them. They got this. This is more of a I stand with you, sister video. Why is it the bar for women is way up here and significantly lower for our male counterparts? It's not really fair. But the world is not a fair place. We get that. But here's something that I'm going to let you in on. We know about all of our imperfections. We know everything there is to know about us. We know. You don't have to tell us we're not perfect. Every little thing that you find unattractive about us, we already know. Thank you. I'm going to put a link for both of these videos in the description box below because I would really like if you took the time to watch each one of these videos. They were so well done and just poetically so, especially the way that Carla matches these horrific comments with, you know, just a, a juxtaposing comment of her own. Let me give you an example. So someone just was there telling her basically how fat she was and all this ugly ugliness. And she would say, yes, I know you think I'm fat, but I held my father's hand. But as my father was dying, I held his hands and gave him comfort as he took his last breath. And I let him know that he was loved. And that makes me beautiful. And she's right. That makes her beautiful. And as she was reading these awful comments, I'm like thinking to myself, who's writing this? Certainly it's got to be a kid, like some stupid kid who doesn't think about ramifications about what they're writing and just, you know, because kids do stupid things. Certainly it's a kid. But no, you know, as I was listening to the comments and the way that the sentences were constructed and the grammar, these were written by adults. An adult sat their butt down in a chair, wrote those terrible things out on a keyboard, and sent it away to Carla and Gail, an adult. I, I am completely blown away by this. This is, these are actions that you could expect from somebody who's a stupid kid. But from adults, mm, no, I expect better. Here's what I want you to know. Your words hold meaning. They hold such meaning. Your words have power, don't you know? You have power. What are you going to use that power for? Are you going to use that power to spread a message of positivity, to be encouraging and uplifting? Are you going to be the hero of the story? Because you can be. Or are you going to use that power to be cruel and vicious and demeaning and degrading? Are you going to use that power to be the villain of the story? Because I promise you, nobody ever roots for the villain. You sending those comments off to these women, these beautiful women, says more about you than it does about them. You know what it says to me? You have a very low self-esteem. That you feel insignificant in this world. Maybe you're even feeling invisible. And you're dying for attention... And you're thinking to yourself, how can I get noticed? How can I become visible? Well, gee, let me think about it. I'm going to type out this horrific comment that's hurtful and disgusting and scandalous. And maybe then I can get 
noticed. Maybe then I'll be visible. Are you in such a low place in your life that you've got to drag everybody else down there with you? Is that what you're about? That's not what you should be about. One thing I know for sure, I have a lot of friends. I always surround myself with people that are like-minded as I am. My friends are all self-confident people, very high self-esteem. They have self-love. They have an ego. You know, they have just a presence about them. You can't quite put your finger on it, but there's just this air to them, this very confident way that they walk into a room and people notice them right away. And when you have that air about you, that presence, people want to be around that. People respond to that. They want to be your friend. They just want a piece of you because you're so positive that it's almost contagious. Someone like that would never sit down and type out such hurtful, demeaning, degrading, awful, gut-wrenching comments like that and send it off to somebody. No, somebody like that that loves themselves never punches down, never punches across because they would consider themselves above all that. They don't have time to insult someone. They wouldn't want to hurt anyone. They would want to be encouraging. They would want to spread seeds of positivity. They would want to send love out to that person. Now, on the other end of the spectrum is somebody with a low self-esteem. And let me tell you, those people get noticed too when they walk into a room, but not because of their air of presence that people are attracted to them. Quite the opposite. Someone like that can walk into the room and people can feel it right away. Just this air of negativity, like you're sucking the life force out of everyone and everything. And people want to stay clear of that. Nobody wants to... Be around negativity, you know, because that negativity is contagious. It just spreads. But here's what I do know for you. You can change that. If you have a very low self-esteem, and you must, if you're writing out comments like this, you must, you can change that for yourself. Now, I'm not saying that it can be done overnight, but it can be done. Trust me, I know a little something about building self-esteem It just takes one little seed inside of yourself to be planted. One little seed of self-love. And little acts of generosity, random acts of kindness are going to feed your inner seed. You know, by you spreading positivity out there on the YouTube platform or any other social platform, you're going to get positivity back. And you're going to see what a difference it can make for you. A huge difference. Now, granted, some people are born with that thing, that that charm, charisma. Others have to cultivate it. It takes a little bit of work, but it's worthwhile getting. And once you achieve it, you don't want to let it go because you feel so good about yourself that it's almost like a high. You don't want to let that feeling go. It's too good. You're in a good place and you don't want to go back to that place where you were. You don't want to go back down there. So be mindful. When you're writing out these hurtful, hateful comments, you're writing your own story in that comment section. You're not really responding to Carla or Gail or anyone else. It's a cry for help. And I feel sorry for you. We all have someone that we love and that we care about, someone that we want to protect. We don't want anything bad to happen to that person. Now, maybe that person for you is your little sister or your older sister or your mom, your grandma, the girl next door that you've grown up with your entire life, and you want to protect them. What if someone was sending these horrible comments to them and it was hurting them? And it was bringing them into a very bad place. You'd want to shield them from all of that. You'd want to Make that person stop. So when you send those comments, just know that's someone's friend, that's someone's sister, that's someone's mom. Someone cares about that person. And here you are being degrading to that person. 
there's always someone in your life that you look up to. You admire them. You know, you want their stamp of approval. You do anything to get it. There's always someone in your life like that. Imagine if that person is standing right by your side and they're able to see those comments that you're writing. What would they think? They wouldn't be proud of you, that's for sure. They would tell you, you're better than that. Why would you want to hurt someone like that? It's not something you should do. Think about it. Maybe the whole problem is you're just, you're not considering other people's feelings. It's just a comment that you write out and that's that. Or maybe you're just simply not thinking. Maybe you feel safe and cozy behind your avatar or, you know, there's always like the shield of anonymity in the comment section. You don't really know who that person is. Who are they? It could be the guy next door. It could be somebody countries away. You don't know who that person is. But you know what I do now? Sometimes things tend to rear their heads when you least expect it. You never know where you're going to be 10 years from now, a couple years from now. Maybe you're going to run for a public office. Maybe you're going to be interviewing for your dream job. Next thing you know, and you're feeling good about the prospect, all right, I think I'm going to get this one. I I got a really good feeling. And boom, somebody slams down a whole big stack of papers. And the person that's doing the interview starts thumbing through them and they're looking at you and they're looking at these pages and all of a sudden you realize they're reading comments that you've posted on social media throughout the years. Now you're going to have to account for all of that. What are you going to say? How would you respond to that? Oh gee, I called somebody fat and ugly. I just, I was a different person back then. Whoops. People aren't going to tolerate that. But you can always take the safe bet by just being nice and being kind Going that extra mile to be the person that says, we don't do stuff like that. I don't say stuff like that to people because I'm better than that. I wouldn't deign to even think to do something like that. Why don't you think about it too? If you can't say something nice to someone, then just don't say anything at all. That is always the safest bet. If you've made it this far in the video, I thank you. Again, the videos are going to be linked down in the description box below. Please give them a watch. Please send these ladies some love and share their stories on social media because it's important for people to understand what they're doing. Well, I thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, be kind.